Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss about the normal probability distribution. So, let's look at a different kinds of probability distribution. An example of one is this table here. This is the table of probability distribution when we flip a coin five times. H represents the number of heads that will appear, so this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And P of H is the probability that the heads will appear, so this is 0 0.0625 or 1 over 16, 0 0.25 or 4 over 16, 0 0.375, 0 0.25, and 0 0.0625. If we plot that on a histogram, it would look like this. This is 0, somewhere here, 0 0.0625. This is 1, so this is 0 0.25. 2, that's 0 0.375, 3, and 4. If we observe here, this looks like a bell-shaped curve. This kind of distribution which forms a bell-shaped curve it is what we call a normally distributed set of data. So the distribution of data is said to be normally distributed if the scores tend to be around a central value. So this central value, which is the mean, with no bias to the left and to the right. So it tends right to center in the middle here, then it falls down to the left and to the right symmetrically. So there's no, um, it doesn't mean that the left is greater than the right or vice versa. So the graph of a normal distribution is what we call a normal curve. It is a bell-shaped curve like this. So if you plot it on a graph, it should look like this one. It is a bell-shaped curve. So the middle of the normal curve is what we call the mean. So this middle right here, this one, this middle part here, this is the mean. So let's draw a line here. Let's have a line. Let's just use the line function here. So, no, this one. So this is the line function, and that's the line. And this middle, middle one here is what we call the mean. So the normal distribution is important because most of the data follow a normal dis normally distributed data. And when we analyze data, we make use um, of the normally distributed set of data. Now, the properties of the normal distribution, number one, the distribution is bell-shaped. So this one, is it looks like a bell. So the curve is symmetric about its mean. So this is the middle part of the bell-shaped curve. The left side is similar to the right side. It is symmetric. The mean is equal to the median, which is equal to the mode. If you remember back in our statistics in grade 9, we've discussed about mean, median, and mode. In a normally distributed set of data, the mean is equal to the median, which is also equal to the mode. And the spread of the curve def depends on the standard deviation of the distribution. So. If the standard deviation is small, it, the bell-shaped curve would be a bit closer, something like this. Well, if it's farther, or rather the standard deviation is made quite longer, the bell-shaped curve is much more wider. And the tails of the curve flatten out indefinitely along the horizontal axis. But um, it always approaches the axis, but never touch it. So this normal curve is asymptotic to the x-axis. So it approaches this part here, but it never touches this part. And the area under this curve is equal to 1. So that's for the normal, dis normal distribution of data. We will not be dealing with the area for this video. I will reserve it for the next video. But for now, we're just going to focus on the properties of the normal curve. Now, in order for us to determine this one, we have what we call the normal probability distribution function. The function is expressed as f of x is equal to 1 over sigma times the square root of 2 pi. Sigma is a standard deviation times the square root of 2 pi. Pi is 3.14 times e, the natural number e, which is, uh, is 2.718, 
raise to negative one half times the score x minus the mean divided by the sigma or the standard deviation squared. So we're going to be dealing this with um, on some, some other time, but we just have to remember that this is the function which forms this normally distributed set of data. So let's have some examples on how are we going to construct normal curves. So let's have this one here. So let's say that we're going to construct a normal curve. A normal curve whose mean is 12.5 and the standard deviation is 1.5 so let's here's the x-axis right so let's locate first the mean since it's um, the mean is the middle of the normal curve so the 12.5 is somewhere here so somewhere here so this is the mean and we would like to identify where the standard deviations are so the standard deviation is 1.5 so we are going to add 1.5 and subtract 1.5 to get the first standard deviation so 12.5 plus 1.5 is 14 so this is where the first standard deviation lies so that's the po positive and that's we're going to subtract also 12.5 by 1.5 to get the first standard deviation below the mean so 12.5 minus 1.5 that would be 11 so this is where the first standard uh, no, first standard deviation below the mean so this is the this is the mean first standard deviation below the mean and first standard deviation above the mean so from 14 we add another 1.5 that would be 15.5 so this is where the second standard deviation so this is the the score where it is two standard deviations above the mean and you can also do it for the third time so this is 15.5 plus 1.5 again that would be 17 so this is three standard deviations away from the mean so mean 12.5 one standard deviation above the mean, that's 14, 12.5 plus 1.5, plus 1.5 again, that's two standard deviations above the mean, plus 1.5 again, three standard deviations um, above the mean. For the scores below the mean, 11, that's 12.5 minus 1.5, one standard deviation below the mean. 11 minus 1.5 would be 9.5, two standard deviations below the mean. And 9.5 minus 1.5, that would be 8. Three standard deviations away from the mean. So this is going to be helpful for us later on when we deter, uh, interpret normal curves. So the normal curve would somehow look like this. So it's going to be really close at the third standard, uh, standard deviation away from the mean. So it's somewhere like this one. It's not that symmetric, but let's just try to make it symmetric since I'm just drawing it on my drawing tablet. So, there. So, this is the rough estimate of what the normal curve is with a, sorry, there, with a mean of 12.5 and a standard deviation of 1.5. So, on our next video, we're going to talk about the z-scores. So, I hope you guys turn out today. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video.